word Leicester. Now, while I mention carers, according to the National Carers UK charity, 26% of Brits are providing some sort of care role to someone else outside of their own home. The Carers Centre in Leicester supports carers in our area and is currently celebrating its 30th anniversary. Congratulations. Tim Park has been speaking to some of those involved there. I'm Kirsty McVeigh and I'm the CEO of the Carers Centre Leicestershire in Rutland. Ironically, I had to actually delay my start date for my role six years ago as GP partnership worker because I was going to move to Ireland to look after my mother who was terminally ill. And uh, yeah, then it was, fortunately, it was only six weeks later that I started the role. Caring is very personal to anybody's situation. I don't think any of us start out caring, seeing ourselves as a carer. We are, as I was, a daughter, or we're a husband, a wife, a partner, a, a parent. And you never know when that caring journey is going to start. For some people, it's overnight. Somebody has an accident or becomes um, seriously ill. For other people, it can be, a, you know, you start out helping out mom with a bit of shopping and maybe walking the dog and then slowly but surely helping her taking her to the hospital appointments and then moving on from that. And before you know it, you know, you're around there six or seven hours a day looking after your mom. So it's very, very individual for what people do as carers. It can be anything from some small bits of support to full on 24-7, 365 days a year. And we know carers who have not had a day off in five years. And I think that really emphasises why people need that support and the support that we try and give. Phil Cox from Burstall, I've been connected with the Carer Centre for the last six plus years i started just when my friend nadine uh, who works for the care center she wrote me in to come down my dad was my main carer because i've got a disability and a few years later he got very ill and the family had to help support him so if it wasn't for the carer center supporting us and being around at that time it <laughs> the carer center was there when times were tough when I needed someone to talk to when just when I needed to have a bit of space from all the issues. Hi I'm Jackie Darlington and I'm from Rutland. What I realised when I moved into Rutland was that there wasn't a carer centre as such there was no support mechanism except for the parent forum and they will only help those with children with special needs or additional needs up to the age of 25. And I got involved with that quite early on. But I realised as my son was getting to 20, I needed something else. So I came across a care centre and they've been my lifeline ever since. I was missing out on the social aspects of meeting with other carers with older, young people. And that, I found, was really difficult. There's nothing for them in Rutland at all so that's why I came over to Leicester and sort of said you know you know am, am I welcome to have, you know and they were like of course you are they signposted me to the right people they were there when I was under stress and um, family bereavements and everything else around normal family life and as a single parent they were there to help me through it if you had to pick out one thing that has really helped you from the carer centre, what would that be? <laughs> it's it's the friendships, the the laughs, the Mickey taking. I know Mickey <laughs> Mickey taking is for something, but they're, they're a family. We have a laugh with them. The, the support they've given me. It's it, it's the the friends that you'll never lose, and they're always there for you. They are always there for you. That's lovely. Tim Parker, who's been to the Carers Centre in Leicester. They support carers in our area, celebrating their 30th anniversary. And as I say today, we want to make it Thank You Thursday. We want to give you the chance to say thank you to people who've gone above and beyond um, at any stage, you know, not just recently, but through the pandemic, even before. People that are there for you, family, friends, strangers, loved ones, people that volunteer and help you, whatever it is. Use today to say thank you. It seems we've got a lot of people already who want to do that on the show this morning. 81333 to text first word Leicester. Email jimmy at bbc.co.uk or you can tweet us at bbc Leicester. Uh,